the chances of dying from a venomous snake bite in the United States are essentially zero. Fewer than 1 in 37,000 people are bitten by a venomous snake in the U.S. each year, at less than 8,000 bites per year, and only 1 in 50 million people will die from a snake bite. Did you know that you are 9 times more likely to die from being struck by lightning than to die of a venomous snake bite? Although with the aid of modern medicine, snakes in the U.S. are not particularly dangerous to humans, none of these snakes should be taken lightly, nor should they be irrationally feared. Let's get to know them. Hi, I'm Leroy. And I'm Rosie. And this, this is, is Animal Facts. Facts. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Number one. The rattlesnake is the most widespread group of venomous snakes in the U.S. They inhabit almost all types of habitats. This group of snakes is comprised of 32 species and at least 83 subspecies, making them the most diverse groups of reptiles in the United States. The Mojave rattlesnake is the deadliest of all rattlesnakes. These rattlesnakes are aggressive towards humans and will bite without provocation. Although rattlesnake venom isn't as deadly as some other snakes, the volume of the injected venom makes rattlesnakes particularly dangerous. The venom is hemotoxic, meaning that it prevents blood from clotting and destroys tissues. Relatives of the Mojave Rattler include the Eastern Diamondback, Western Diamondback, Sidewinder, Timber, Rock, and Pygmy Rattlesnakes. Known for their distinctive rattle at the end of their tail, rattlesnakes can strike at amazing distances and catch their victims by surprise. The Western Diamondback can reach up to 7 feet in length while pygmy rattlers, sometimes called leaf rattlers, can reach a fully grown length of as little as 16 inches. Number 2 As for venom strength, the most dangerous is a cousin to the cobra called the coral snake. These snakes live in the southern part of the United States, stretching from Florida to Arizona. Their range is second only to the rattlesnakes. They are small snakes measuring 39 inches or less, and their fangs are undersized, so most coral snakes are unable to penetrate the skin. Fewer than 1% of deaths due to snakes are from coral snake bites. The saying, red on yellow kills a fellow, identifies coral snakes from other colorful snakes such as non-venomous milk snakes, king snakes, and scarlet snakes. The coral snake has red, yellow, and black bands. If the red band and the black band are separated by a yellow band, you are looking at a coral snake. When confronted by humans, coral snakes will almost always attempt to flee and bite only as a last resort. Any skin penetration, however, is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention. Coral snakes have a powerful neurotoxin that paralyzes the breathing muscles. Mechanical or artificial respiration, along with large doses of antivenom, are often required to save the victim's life. There is usually only mild pain associated with a bite, but respiratory failure can occur within hours. As of 2012, the relative rarity of coral snake bites, combined with the high cost of producing and maintaining an antivenom supply, mean that antivenom production in the United States has ceased. So of all snakes on this list, the coral snake is the one you least want to be bitten by. Number three. The water moccasin, or cottonmouth, is a less deadly snake that has earned a wildly exaggerated reputation as being aggressive. Unlike the previous two snakes on this list, the cottonmouth is one species. These snakes will bite if provoked, but are more likely to flee. Their venom is hemotoxic, which literally means blood toxin, and their bites can cause gangrene. Cottonmouths live in the wetlands, primarily in the southeast. These are semi-aquatic snakes, preferring swamps, ditches, lakes, and rivers. Cottonmouths were given the colorful name because they flash the inside of their whitish or cotton-colored mouths in warning. These snakes are between two and a half and four feet in length. Number four. Copperheads, also called highland moccasins, are the most common venomous snake in the eastern half of the United States. They also cause 37% of venomous snake bites in the U.S. If bitten, you'll experience pain, but their bites are usually less serious than other venomous snakes. Like most Northern American viperids, these snakes prefer to avoid humans and given the opportunity will leave the area without biting. However, unlike the others, they will often freeze instead of slithering away. And as a result, many bites occur from people unknowingly stepping on or near them. 
this tendency to freeze most likely evolved because of the extreme effectiveness of their camouflage. When lying on dead leaves or red clay, they can be almost impossible to notice. They will frequently stay still even when approached closely, and will generally strike only if physical contact is made. Like most other New World Vipers, Copperheads exhibit defensive tail vibration behavior when closely approached. This species is capable of vibrating its tail in excess of 40 times per second, faster than almost any other non-rattlesnake species. Remember, ecosystems need snakes. Humans need ecosystems. Therefore, humans need snakes, even the venomous ones. There is potential on the horizon for stroke, diabetes, and even cancer cures. Researchers have found a component of snake venom which successfully inhibits the migration of cancer cells. Each snake killed out of fear could be holding the cure for what actually is a killer. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, Go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Or that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.